In the process of differentiation, a small increase which previously we have represented by letter H is usually denoted by a Greek letter called delta. Consider the following example. Given a function y is equal to ax square, where a is constant, we take two general points q and p on the curve. which will look like this. So assume this is point Q with coordinates X ax squared and point p with coordinates x plus a small change in x a x plus small change in x as coordinates of q So this is what we have. So we have a small change in x which gives us the coordinate at this point as x plus small change in x while on this other hand we'll have a into x plus a small change in x this will be point x so we get gradient qp as change in y which will be a x squared plus twice 2a x delta x plus delta x squared delta x squared minus a x squared divide by change in x which is x plus delta x minus x this gives us 2a x delta x plus a delta x squared minus divide by 
delta x and this gives us 2a x plus a delta x so that gradient qp will be equal to as delta x tends to zero the second expression disappears and we end up with gradient qp is equal to 2a x The same can be demonstrated for the expression y is equal to ax cubed, taking two general points. So we end up with the same gradient qp is equal to change in y, which will be a into x cubed plus. 3x squared delta x plus 3x delta x squared plus delta x cubed. Minus ax cubed. divide by x plus delta x minus x this gives us a x cubed plus 3a x squared delta x plus 3a x delta x squared plus a delta x cubed minus a x cubed divided by delta x this and this cancel out we remain with 3a x squared plus 3a x delta x plus a delta x squared so that the gradient qp as delta x approaches zero is equal to 3 a x because this will become 0 this will also become 0 so in general the two expression gives us the derivative of a general expression y is equal to a x raised to power n as dy over dx is equal to n a x raised to n minus 1. Very similar to the case where the coefficient is 1. Example, differentiate y is equal to 2x cubed. So we need dy over dx is 
equal to 3 multiply by 2 x the power reduces by 1 which gives us 6 x squared as dy dx. In the second case dy over dx is equal to a quarter times a half x a quarter minus 1 which gives us 1 over 8 x negative 3 quarters